All right. Good job, guys. All right, so I'm going to unmute somebody. Let's see. How about Jace Rodriguez? What? Jace Rodriguez, tell us one good thing. I, I, I put my shoe. I go say I put on my own shoe. I put my own shoes. Put your own shoes on today? Awesome. Daddy put Dad, buy me a two choice. A two okay. choice. You gotta get yourself dressed every day. All right. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on to letter recognition. And we're gonna do a short video on that, and then we will do some more of our ABC here and do book, okay? Okay, so it says say the letters of the alphabet. So you have to say the letters out loud because they're not gonna tell you. I'll tell you at the end, but you, I need to hear you actually saying the letters of the alphabet, okay? Here we go. Say the letter, say it quick. Say the letters of the alphabet. Concentrate, do your very best. Say the letters of the alphabet. A letter. A. I. P. R. Stay with me, guys.
don't we? Hi, how are you? Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and do this book. We already did some letters. If you weren't here, let's, so let's review. We already did C. Remember? We did A. 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 We did T. We did M. Mm. So we're going to continue on. We're going to say them three times each. Are you ready? Remember what hand motions go with S? S is for salamander. Make your arm, make your hands, make a snake. This one's a fun one. R is for raccoon. You have to do both hands like a motorcycle. Let's do that one again. R is for raccoon. I is for iguana. And we're itchy. Itch, itch. I, I, I. P is for porcupine. P. Puh, puh. Remember we pop it? Ronan, show me your P. Puh. Puh. Let's see. Let me see everybody else. There's Lane. Wish I could see you, Lane. Puh, puh, puh. All right, so now we're going to be making some words. We're going to be making the word sat. We're going to do it slow, and then we'll do it fast. Ready? Now let's do it fast. A little bit faster. At. All right. This word is rat. Rat. So we're going to start out with our motorcycle. Ready? At. At. And really fast. Ready? Rat. <laughs> this word is p pat. Ready? Start like that. Ready? P at. A little faster. P at. And really fast. P at. Let me try again. Ms. Miller missed up. Okay. P at. Okay. The last one is sit. Here we go. Sip. A little faster. Sip. And really fast. Sip. Sip. Okay, good job. That's good for today. I'm going to unmute you. I like to hear you, but sometimes it's hard to hear everybody. Thank <laughs> you. 
I can't hear Lane. I'm going to unmute Lane to see if that won't work. Ronan, you still with us, guy? All right. So the next thing, did we do good things? Yes. Let it rest. Yes. Now do some rhyming. All right. Got a really nice slideshow that we're going to do some rhyming with. So pay okay. Jason, okay. listen tall, babe. Oh. Nice and tall. Okay. Thank you. Be patient with me. I got it. All right. All right. Thumbs up if you can see my slideshow. Thumbs up. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. What word is that, guys? Got to get this out of the way. I'm gonna shrink you guys. All right. What rhymes with cat? Well, let's check. Cat, hat. Let's keep going. Cat, ball, or cat, apple. Say it real loud. Cat. And hat rhyme. You're correct. Cat and hat. Let's keep going. What rhymes with boat? Boat key. Does that sound a line? Boat hammer. Our boat goat. Hmm. Boat key, boat hammer, our boat goat. Let's see what rhymes. Boat and goat. Did you guess right? Good job, guys. What rhymes with duck? Duck balloon. Duck truck or duck frog? Duck balloon, duck truck or duck frog? Which one sounds like duck? Duck and truck rhyme. Duck, truck, duck, truck. You are correct. What rhymes with bell? Bell tulip, bell ball, or bell shell. Hmm, bell tulip, bell ball, or bell shell. Let's find out. Bell and shell rhyme. They do sound alike at the end. All right, what rhymes with mouse? Mouse house. Mouse bee. Or mouse balloon. Mouse house, mouse bee, or mouse balloon. Mouse and House, you got it. Rhyme, they sound a lot. What rhymes with frog? Frog fish, frog dog, or frog key? Frog 
fish, frog dog, frog key. We know this one, frog and dog, rhyme. All right. All right, guys. There you go. Did you all get those right? Yes. 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 I may go back to that next screen and we're going to try to find out another word that rhymes with each one. Okay? I'm not going to mute you on this one because I need to hear. So when I call your name, will you tell me another word that rhymes with the ones we're talking about? Yes. Okay. I'll unmute you when I call your name, okay? Okay. Be ready to share. All right, here we go. All right, the first two is, oh, oh, we're supposed to match these up. That's right, frog dog. Okay, Brittany, can you tell me another word that rhymes with frog and dog? Are you talking? You want me to help you out? Yes. Help you. Okay. Frog, excuse me, dog, frog, and log. Okay. Frog, log. Frog, dog, log. log. All right. I'm going to mute you and I will get somebody else to help me. How about Jace Rittenhouse? Can you give me another word that rhymes with house and mouse? House, mouse. Remember, these don't have to be real words. They can be made up words. Remember, Dr. Seuss uses a lot of silly words. You can go down the alphabet. House, mouse, bouse, fouse, gauss, zouse. You can just make up silly words as long as it ends with ouse. Can you think of one, Jace? Okay. How about Aaron? Are you still there, Aaron? Yes. Can you give me another word that rhymes with shell and bell? Kel. Kel. Good. That's not a word, but it sure does rhyme. And what does everybody do with their nose? You. What do you do with your nose, guys? Say it. Mm. Help us out. Talk. Well, Nose to smell. Shell, mm -hmm. bell, kill, and smell. No. Smell. Okay. I'm going to ask Ronan to help me. Hey, Ronan, give me one more word. Hat. Cat. One more word that sounds like at. Hat. Cat. You have another one? Say it, buddy. Cat, cat, if you're not skinny, you're probably fat. Can you say fat, Rowan? Are you shy this morning? Okay. There's a lot, guys, that rhyme with at, hat, cat, mat, cat. That. Okay? All right, Rodin, focus on us. Over there. All right. How about let's see if Noah. Are you there with me? Okay. Yeah. Noah, can you give me another one that adds on to these rhyming words? Goat. Boat. Get another one? Foe. Boat. That's right. It sounds just like it. Goat, boat, 
foat. How about oat? How about coat? You wear How about it? Soap? How about soap? Good job. How about float? You doing the water? You float in the water? Good job, Noah. All right. Thank you so much. How about Jace Rodriguez? Mm -hmm. Jace Rodriguez, can you give us another one that sounds like truck, um, duck? No. Truck and duck. What oh, sounds the same? Truck. No, look, pay attention. We have a truck and we have a duck. What sounds the same? Five. You could say cluck. 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 Cluck, cluck is right, Jace. Truck, gut, duck, pluck. And if you find a four leaf clover, you've got lots of luck. If you're lucky, you have lots of luck. Thank you. Good job, guys. All right. Um, we are going to do. Word by words, really quickly, real quickly, real quickly, because we've been on here a long time. We're going to do them super fast. Snap and clap. Some reason I don't see that. Sorry guys, I'm just a little bit of trouble finding all my all my slides. My slide shows either going away or it's big. So we will move on, okay? We'll do word well words in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna unmute you. We are gonna... Okay, wake up, Ronan. Okay, guys, so I don't know if you remember our story from yesterday, the tiny seed, where the tiny seed blows in the wind. And right. we're going to be talking about the setting. Who can tell me what the setting of the story is? Okay. The setting. <laughs> Brittany, you're up. Brittany, what's the setting of the story, honey? Well, it happens. Where it happens. You're right. Where does the story take place? We've got uh, all parts of the story. We, yesterday, we talked about the beginning, the middle, and the end. And the setting is where the story takes place. And I want to mute you, and I want you. To, I want you to watch me draw the setting. And if you haven't heard the story of the tiny seed, you can go back and on my YouTube channel. There's a story on there. And so let's go ahead and all focus over here. Miss Miller will show you how to draw the setting of our story. All right, the tiny seed setting. I know that the tiny seed, like all plants, they're outside. So my, my setting of the story, I don't believe it happens inside, it happens outside because the wind blows and the rain comes down and the seed lands in the dirt and that's all things that are outside. So I'm gonna start my picture with having it outside. The sun is outside. The rain is outside. The 
the dirt is outside. The tiny seed, I'm gonna kind of put this out here. I'll put one down here. The tiny seed floats through the air, which is outside. So I'll just put a little wind. And then finally outside, our flower grows. Now when you might draw your picture of the setting, we're gonna practice putting lots of details. And that's why Miss Miller did put a lot of different pictures in here, all the things that we see in the story. And just to put some more details, I'm gonna label my picture. This is a cloud. This is the rain. This is the sun. This is the wind. And this is the flower. This is the seed. And this, we can do some more coloring, is the dirt. So that's a lot of labeling. That means you're gonna write words on your picture of what you drew. And if you have time, if you, wanted, if you want to, you can, we can write a sentence to go along with our settings. The flower is outside. All right, and that is the end of our lesson for today. That's your homework, guys. If you could draw me a picture of the setting if you haven't listened to the story, you can do that on my YouTube channel or just um, YouTube The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. <clears throat> Draw Miss Miller a picture of the setting. Let's do some detailed labeling. And if you want to just copy my sentence or you can write your own sentence, the flower is outside. I want to show you one more thing, guys, that I'm so super proud of you guys. A lot of you have been uh, sending me. Um, 